Big Daddy here with another video in the series of customizing KDE. So we're taking another side trip off of the beaten path of system settings to keep our mind sane. <laughs> and we're going to enable a feature today that is not enabled by default in Linux. So on every Windows machine out there, you have number locks enabled on boot up. But in Linux, you do not. And I'm not going to get into the reasons why it's not enabled, but um, it is not enabled and it is a feature that I use. So we're going to enable it today. So in Linux Mint distributions, you have, they on most of theirs, they run the Light DM Display Manager. And in there, if you go into the settings, you'll see a, um, a checkbox that's grayed out that says enable num number locks on boot up. Well, if you install numlock X and then you go back into the settings, it will be there. The check the uh, check mark will no longer be grayed out. You can check it, you can hit apply, and when you boot up number locks will be on. But I'm not running Linux Mint, I'm running KDE Neon and it's not enabled by default and there is no setting in there to do that. Although if you go into the system settings and you go into input devices, there is a numlock on plasma startup section here and you can turn it on if you like. But that doesn't actually solve the problem. What that does is that turns on the number locks after you log in and you get to your desktop, the number locks are on but I'm referring to the actual login screen before you type in your password. So we're going to actually fix that today. We're going to enable it. So I am going to go to my Linux folder and this is a file that I keep and on any distribution that I run, any KDE distribution that I run that doesn't have this, I, um, I simply drop this in to a folder that it's supposed to be in and it enables the number locks. So let's look at it. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to copy this text because I'm going to put it in the description. You're going to open your favorite text editor. You're going to paste it in and you're going to save it with the name sddm.conf and that's important because it won't pick it up unless it's named that. It has to be named that because that stands for the simple uh, desktop display manager and that's the display manager that KDE uses so if you look at this there's nothing malicious in here it's just uh, basically the most important thing is numlock equals on and the best part about this is you don't need numlock X installed in order to have this work so once you have created the text file and saved it somewhere I am going to actually split my screen, which is such a great feature of KTE. Uh, well, I guess it's in other versions, other uh, file managers, but not every one of them. I think it's in uh, Cinnamon File Manager Nemo. Um, so I'm going to go to root, and I'm going to go to the etc folder, which is where this file needs to be dropped. So if you watched the last video on adding an open as root, it makes it so much easier. So if you right click, I now have root actions in here, open root dolphin, and it opens up as root. Now there was a comment in the uh, other video about why there's no icons. I'm pretty sure that's a bug um, that's been there for a long time. And there may be a way around it. You, I, I used to think that it had to do with adding the themes and icon sets to the uh, actual user share icons folder, but I don't think that solved the problem the last time I tried it. So uh, long story short, this is where it's going to go. And if you see here, I already have a SDDM file. I'm sorry, that's the folder. We'll scroll down just a little bit more. And I have an sddm.config file in here. So all you would do is drag this over into here. And the reason you need to open it as root is because it's not going to let you write to this folder um, because it's a system folder. Now, once you 
drop that in there. That's it. You close out, you reboot, and you have number locks enabled when you log in or before you log in so that you can, if you use the number locks to uh, use part of your password, you're able to do it without and pushing the button to say number locks on. I don't want to have to push that extra button. I want it to be just on when I boot up. So there's a feature that I do on all of the desktops for customizing KDE, not just KDE. It's just you have to do it differently in other distributions and other desktop environments. But this is for KDE, and that's why we're customizing it, to make it what you want it to be or what I want it to be. That's what's great about it, the choice. So until next time, Big Daddy out.